Hey guys, uh, I'm Aditya Gandhi. I'm a director of technology with Sabin Global Markets. Uh, over the last many years, I have been implementing trading, risk management, and asset optimization solutions uh, uh, in the space. Right. Um, and what I'm doing today is, as part of a redefining perspective, I'm talking about um, two concepts energy intelligence and physical portfolio optimization. And I'll um, drill a bit uh, into uh, these areas. Uh, so, um, the idea of energy intelligence is to gain quantitative and qualitative insights into your near term markets. Right? Now, so the challenges that Rashid was talking about, right? the world of commodities around us is changing very rapidly. The complexity of transactions, the scale of transactions, and the velocity at which these transactions need to happen is changing significantly. And you need a very solid decision support system to be able to execute uh, in this changing world. Right? And what energy intelligence really tries to do is gather information not just about your organization and uh, uh, elements uh, of, uh, let's say, your supply chain, your assets and contracts from within the organization, but also understand factors that impact the overall supply chain, whether it is market sentiment, it's political, ge uh, geographical factors, etc., and use all of those to do a combination of fundamental and technical analysis to come up with the right recommendations. Right? Obviously, uh, the challenge here is we are talking about a lot of structured data and a lot of unstructured data. Right? And therefore, you need to be able to take in all of this information, process it, run it through a lot of semantic analytics right? related to ontologies, related to a whole bunch of reasoning and correlation engines to be able to understand all of this information and eventually translate into insights that traders or shareholders can execute to. Right. So that's the idea about energy intelligence. Um, the other key thing that is required uh, in this uh, ever-changing world is having the ability to look at your overall value chain and optimize around it. Gain more visibility uh, into uh, your decision-making process so that you can be more informed about all commercial and operational decisions that you want to take. Right. And for that, the idea is to understand your contracts, understand your assets, understand all the optionality associated with that, link all of them together to come up with a recommendation for what trades and movements to do. And to do that, what you uh, really need to do is uh, take all of this information, model it, uh, you could say in a mathematical way, right? you could use various techniques like linear programming, mixed integer linear programming, or take it even a step further into you know, stochastic programming right? to convert all of this data into a model solve it mathematically and to come up with recommendations for how should you react to all the optionality and the complexity that you are exposed to as a business. What are the, some of the demands of uh, your company, the clients? See, so what's happening in today's world is um, competition has increased significantly and because the environment around us is changing very rapidly, clients are trying to figure out how they can continue to remain competitive. Right? And one way of doing that is by leveraging their existing assets to extract additional value out of that. Right? And that's fundamentally where energy intelligence and optimization fit in. Right? So it correlates really well with their ability to extract now that additional value and impact their uh, top line directly. Do you work directly with uh, the CIOs? Uh, absolutely, right. So, um, so th this is interesting because this is obviously a problem that CIOs are focused on, but this is also something that business directly is very involved, in, right? So, a trader who is trying to define strategy for how his portfolio should get structured, right? He's looking for these sorts of decision support tools to be able to um, make sure that he is moving in the right direction and uh, making the right amount of profit, right? So, there's very strong support both from the technologies and um, CIOs and from the business side where traders and schedulers are looking for a solution like this. How superior are your technology? I mean, in terms of USP, can you share? Right. So, see, it's not about superiority of technology, right? So, see, fundamentally with a solution like this, there are three challenges. Right? There's a big challenge about data. There's a big challenge about modeling this data to get the right recommendations. And the third thing is change management because it's not just about the fact that there's a model that can give recommendations, but there should be recommendations that um, users can internalize and believe so that they can execute to it. Right? And that's where our, um, our ability to focus on all these three angles really comes to fore. Right? 
identifying gaps in data, ensuring that we can build systems to get all of this data together for consumption, building com models that are fit for the problem. Right? You could build fairly complex models that cannot be solved, or you could build very simplistic models which just don't work for business. Right? It's about finding the right balance between that complexity and executable decisions. Right? It's, uh, it's that art, and then eventually about turning those recommendations from model into something that the business can visualize and internalize. Right? So we, what we also do is spend a lot of time on building um, visualization layers on top of the solution, right? so that business can understand how the model is operating, what kinds of decisions it is taking, and why it is taking those decisions, so that they can eventually uh, work through. Why should an enterprise select a Sapient? Well, I, I think it is for all these reasons, right? And the fact that we are involved in all um, complete supply chain. Right? We understand the market. We understand the challenges that our clients are facing. We understand the solutions that are required for this, right? And when I say solutions, it is all angles of the solution. The technology angle, the um, quality assurance angle, the, um, the modeling angle, the mathematics angle of it, right? Our ability to bring in uh, expertise across all these areas and bring all of it together is what really uh, differentiates.